Hello. Hello from Rome. We're, We're in Rome. In Rome. <laughs> I feel like my Very thighs hot. are starting to slick instead of slat, like sticking. It is hot. It's hot. H O T hot. H O T T hot. But you know what else is hot? The scally. No, I was going to say <laughs> the view right there. Oh. Uh, now, Nicole here is going to give you a little history lesson on what. Thanks to our tour guide that we just had. All right. Hello, everybody. So, over here we have Palatine Hill. And then over here, we have the Colosseum, you can see in the far distance. And that white arch ahead, right in front of the Colosseum, is the Arch of Titus. And then behind, like behind that you can't see, it is the Arch of Constantine. Yay! Then we have, this is the Roman Forum. Right down the middle, you can see the road all the people are walking on, is the Via Sacra, the Sacred Road. So you used to cover them in white marble and everybody would throw petals at all the gladiators as they paraded down to the Colosseum. Those three big arches, that was their like law courts where all the lawyers were. Keep on going down. Those are some temples all along. These two pools, that was like the temple of the courtyard of the Vestal Virgins, which we learned about. And then you keep on continuing. And, oh, I can zoom in there. Right there in the middle, that little tin, kind of half shape roof. That's the tomb of Caesar Augustus. Or no, Julius Caesar, sorry. I don't actually know the difference between them. Today's a church day for us, so we're going to a few churches and then the Vatican. But we just climbed 124 steps up to this church. Marble steps. And rumor has it, or legend has it, that if you climb these steps on your knees, then you are guaranteed to win the lottery. Which we decided not to. Yeah. You have to get new kneecaps after. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we can't confirm it is 124 steps. Yeah, we counted. Mm -hmm. These steps were built in honor of the end of the plague in 1348, so we survived the plague. Yeah. Ooh. It's got a pretty nice view from here too. It is quite nice. Yeah, but it's also like churches. Watchers, my earrings are still attacked. Okay, so we just ran. We just we coming too much of a habit. We ran for our lives. So we're on the train right now. We're we're headed to we're on a high speed train. Not for the first time. Yes. So we're on a high speed train right now to Venice. We miscalculated how long it would take. So we yeah. So we once again. This is like our fourth or fifth time running. Like a full on sprinting to catch a train or a flight. And I feel like that means to, I feel like by the, I thought by the end of the trip we would have gotten better at it, but I think we just. This is why we passed from backpacks. Could you imagine suitcases? Yeah, we were, anyways, I don't know if you can tell, but like I was really dripping. And so like, <laughs> Kathy went to go change. Like Kathy is fully in the washroom changing her, her outfit right now. Her clothes are soaked. Like yeah. they're sticking to her. Like, like she went in the pool. Oh, how you're feeling? I literally feel like a ball of sweat. <laughs> Like, looking back on your clothing, like, I know, I was like, it's like disgusting. Sheer. It's sheer. Look at, you literally look like you went for a swim. Ah, shut up. How was, <laughs> how was the water? <laughs> it was, um, sticky. sticky. <laughs> Hello! 
We have made it to Venice and we have made it to our little Airbnb and it is our favorite place so far, by far. So you wanted to give a little tour. So this is the front porch or front entrance and then our other front entrance. Ta-da! Oh! <laughs> wow! I didn't expect to be greeted in such a way, Miss Kathy. Very important news for everybody. What? The water pressure in the shower is it good? <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, y'all. Okay, quick story. The power went out in our other apartment. Yes, our, our apartment in Rome. Literally two times, and both times it was right before I was about to step into the shower. And so the funniest thing is, sorry to interrupt, yeah. is Alice is so excited for her shower, she's prancing all around the room. <laughs> so you have excited she's for the shower. <laughs> also. And then she was in the t in the sh in the bathroom in her towel marinating her clothes, and then lo and behold, the power went out, and, and there was no hot water. Yeah, you have to know the power controls the hot water. That's why. Yeah. So the it. first night, I just ended up doing a quick like I just didn't wash my hair, so I just like in freezing cold water showered, and then the next morning the power came back on. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing! I get to wash my hair now. The minute I step in the shower, I like get like two seconds hot water. Power shuts down once again, so I have to wash my hair in cold water. So, I'm very happy right now because I'm expecting a nice hot pressure shower today, but... Oh, today's just been not our day. Yeah, today has been... Wait, what happened today? Like, get ready for the Oh, yes, right, right. Yes, we have issues with running for transit. So, we, yeah, we ran for the train and then we, we were... Don't learn. We don't learn. Well, the thing is, the train stopped at, like, the station near our apartment mm -hmm. at 10.42. So we could have meandered over it and took 40 minutes to get there. Yeah, so yeah, the train we booked, the station wasn't the most effective choice, but we didn't know that at the but time, I so it's fine. It, would, it wouldn't matter, because then... Yeah, well, we, we didn't know it, so... Anyways, we booked it, and I feel like days we transit, like days we switch cities are always so stressful. But yeah, anyways, so this is our little <sighs> tour. So first we have oh it's already messy we've already we've already we've already claimed it but this is our little bed situation. Okay. Can I say I really want this closet? Look, it's got little areas like it just it's all like I could divide. Very nice. Um, I've already hung up some laundry that didn't finish drying actually back in Rome. So there's that. There's we have a little kitchen area and a TV. And, and oh my gosh, a beautiful hot. Day a luxury ice. ice. <laughs> That's literally the biggest luxury for us right now. Oh my gosh, okay, yeah, luxury number two, a washing machine. Oh, we love that. Yeah, a, a medicine cabinet, I guess. There's so much space in here. Is a hair dryer? A hair dryer. The nice shower that Kathy was speaking of. Oh yeah. <gasps> That pressure though. Oh my gosh, a shampoo and shower gel. Not two in one. Wow, exactly like you want the two in one. <laughs> I'm i I'm telling you y'all, this is like literally us living so large right now. Italian, Italian breaker. Italian oh my gosh, Constantine, if you're watching this. This little comes from espresso. Miss Mocha. There's wine glasses, guys. That's, I think that's more important than that. Oh my gosh. Personally, I don't know. Coffee These cups. Right. So, if you're ever coming to Venice, this place is actually quite affordable too, because that's why we booked it, obviously. We recommend Marco's apartment. It's 9.8 like, out of 10. Look at that. Yeah. Hi, there, friend. Anyways, okay. <laughs> Oh, 
so weird. Oh, oh my god. How's your back doing? <laughs> Wait, you can look at your back. Oh, that's good. Yay. That's really good. Did you hear uh, my phone broke like a week and a half ago? Did you hear that? Okay, shall we update the viewers on what is happening? Well, things have turned, taken a turn for the worse. I would say tragedy has struck. Tragedy. It's tragedy has struck. We're the most unfortunate souls in the world. I wouldn't say that. I think we're still pretty fortunate. Yeah, I'm, I can't, I'm being dramatic. Of course we could be worse off. Okay, this is the longest build-up I've, <laughs> I've ever had. So, yesterday we were to check in for a flight. Turns out it's cancelled. Several hours later, we realized that it's not only impossible to fly anywhere out of Venice, it's impossible to fly anywhere out of Italy to Paris. We tried every single city. You got Rome, you got Venice, or you got Venice, Florence, Bologna, nothing. We tried maybe trains, buses to get to Germany, Belgium, fly out of there. Nothing. Everything's solidly booked. Finally, my dad was able to find us a 16 hour, so through the day and through the night, bus that takes us from Venice to Paris. 16 hours. And uh, so we were actually supposed to be in Paris several hours ago on a little two hour flight, but now that's done and we're still waiting for our bus. So we're out a whole day, a whole night in Paris, 16 hours of our lives, and it's gonna suck really badly yeah so we're currently waiting waiting in Venice for the bus that is supposed to leave at 245 and will arrive tomorrow in Paris at 7 a.m. oh and is? the bus the bus is called blah blah bus it has a raving 1.9 stars on Yelp reviews oh my gosh. There was one review where the driver got arrested. Like, <laughs> yeah, there was one review where the driver got arrested. But okay, the website looks legit. It says there's air conditioning, reclining seats, Wi-Fi, power outlets. So also, I'd like to add, yeah, it's our literally our only option. This is it. Unless we're walking to Paris, this is it. This is all we got. Yeah, like it's like we were quite literally scouring every form of transportation for every for several hours yesterday. Like. Yeah, for so, I don't know for some reason, like even the buses that we like that were easier to take, like they were all booked out too. So I don't know if everyone's just trying to get to Paris today or something like that. But yeah, so we'll we'll check back after our our bus or maybe during our bus, and we'll give you a little update on how it's going. But yeah, <laughs> how has everybody Hello. been enjoying the bus ride so far? Me and Nicole originally were sitting apart, and then when we got to Milan, we got we got put back together. And I realized the seats are so much smaller. Turns out I was sitting in the small seats the entire time for six hours, and I did not know. Yeah. Now I'm in the big seats. I was sitting in the big seats the entire time. Also, this valley is the cutest thing ever. It reminds me of home. It reminds me of BC. We've got mountains. We've got rain. I don't know if you and can see. we've passed by so many castles on hills. I'm just loving it. Yeah. Good little sprint. So it's 10 p.m. and we just got what's that? Eight. Oh. How many more hours? Is seven. Uh, eight, uh, ten more eight, hours left. Eight, ten more hours left. Yeah. Damn. No, eight. nine more hours. Nine more hours. Nine more hours. Damn. Uh, I can't believe we've done this. We've done seven already. Okay, guys, yeah. we're almost halfway there. Let's go.